Sometimes even your favorite room in the house needs an update. Same for your deck. Sometimes you just need to redecorate. Hi, I'm Jeff Wilson from HGTV and the DIY Network. One of the easiest ways to update an indoor room is with color, and that'll work for your deck too. Watch how a few gallons of deck stain used creatively, plus one other affordable change, make this deck the place to be on the Columbia River. Step one, lose the lattice. First, we replace the old lattice with some clear glass balusters. They'll give us a clear view of the scenery and our beautiful deck. You can find these in clear or tinted glass, and there are also metal balusters and lots of decorative choices. Take time to check them out at your local home center or on the internet. Step two, start at square one. The foundation of this makeover, so to speak, is this very simple but very unique pattern on the deck boards. It's just three squares, each in a different color of Thompson's Water Seal deck and house stain. I used Banjo Brown semi-transparent stain in the center square, Lemonwood solid stain next, then Sierra Brown solid stain on the outside edge. But you could use any color combination that suits your taste. With 117 colors to pick from, I know you'll find just the right colors for your project. Always start with a clean deck. That's really important to get the best finished project. Let the deck dry thoroughly and you're ready to create your pattern. To create our squares, I just used a pencil, tape measure, and straight edge, working from the outside edge toward the center. First, I made my marks, and then I connected them using the straight edge. You could also use a chalk line, which would work especially well if you had darker colored wood where pencil lines would be hard to see. With my lines in place, I started applying stain to the first square. Here's one of my best tips for working with deck stains. If you're using semi-transparent stain, like this Banjo Brown, which lets some of the wood grain show through, it's important to test the stain in an out-of-the-way corner or on a scrap of wood before you stain the whole area. That's because the color of the wood will actually affect the final color of your stain. The same color of semi-transparent stain may look different on my deck than it would on yours. After the first color dried, I started on the second square. I just used a good quality brush and did my edges freestyle. You might find it helpful to use painter's tape to tape off between colors so that they don't bleed over. Either way works. Just make sure you let the first color dry completely before you tape it off. This lemonwood solid stain gives the dramatic flair we're after here. And once it dried, I moved on to the final outer band in Sierra Brown solid stain. I had to be careful not to stain myself into a corner, but pretty soon I was squared away. I used Thompson's Water Seal Deck and House solid latex stains for this project. A latex stain will dry more quickly than an oil stain, about two hours for a latex stain and about four hours for an oil stain, depending on weather conditions. A latex stain also has a lower odor, but both types of Thompson's Water Seal Deck and House stains, oil and latex, deliver beautiful, fade-resistant color and tough waterproofing protection all in one coat. Both coatings resist mildew and UV damage, and when you're done, both offer easy cleanup with soap and water. Now all you have to do is sit back and enjoy your new view. With your creativity and the great performance of Thompson's Water Seal Deck and House Stains, folks will enjoy coming around to your square deck for years to come. For more information, go to thompsonswaterseal.com.